Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. A sat slinging for a generation. One man will give value to his people. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my favorite song from Star Wars. What's up, everyone? It's America Plus. I'm your host, Cole McCormick. It's another week, another episode. Welcome, everybody. It's July 30th, 145 in the p.m. Ugh. Let me just breathe for a second. I didn't, I didn't breathe right there. Wow. Folks, it's a sash slinger, folks. Welcome to the show. What's up, everybody? Dude. I'm all kinds of fucked up right now. I'm all kinds of clogged up. Like yesterday, I went to the beach and I got some water in my ear. And for some reason, the salt water, something in there, the sand, I don't know. It like mixed in with the with my earwax. I have a lot of earwax, by the way. And it like clogged and it's like stuck. And like, I don't know if I have any of the water out. I bought dro- drops this morning. They didn't freaking work. These eardrops never work, dude. So right now I have half my hearing right now i'm my my headphones are working fine but i'm only hearing my voice in my left ear <laughs> so it's it's uh it's a good time right now folks uh bear with me here uh if i'm louder than usual it's cuz i think i'm it's cuz i think i'm i'm going deaf <laughs> uh but i found this thing on amazon that i bought it's like 29 bucks hopefully this like i bought like the ear thing i bought th- there's like a thing that you can buy for your ear, there's like like the camera pokey thing that the doctors have. You can buy that on Amazon. So my girlfriend's going to play doctor tomorrow. So and hopefully we get this earwax out. I got half my hearing for the weekend. But we're going to be good, folks. We're going to be good. Welcome to the show. It's it's a sasslinger. It's the last sasslinger ever we've gotten here. So just like another round of applause for me. Like I just feel good about myself right now. We have gotten here. Um, we've spent a lot of sats. We've given a lot of value away. Um, if you don't know what this whole thing is. So if you're listening to the promotion on fountain, I've been doing this for a year. It was a, it was a once a month for a one year commitment. And I was going to experiment with the value for value model. And I wanted to give, I wanted the show to give value in the, in the way of Satoshi's. I wanted to give you Satoshi's first before before you saw any value in giving me satoshis that that that's always been um the mindset for all this time i've always wanted to be the first one to give value and then the information like like the content like that would like continue that would gradually improve right so i wanted to like front load the value giving with the with with the money why not just give my audience money and uh, th- th- this week, th- this Hasslinger, we're really just talking about like like business, Bitcoin. We're talking like we're doing like a review of uh, of my numbers, of my business savviness, and um, uh, what's going on. Like s- some updates. We've had some. It's been a big week for me, but like a huge weekend personally. The world changed this week. Do you know this? Like we're we're, we're talking world events, folks. We're talking so specifically Friday. Um, when it comes to like everything changing, like everything is shifting, we're in a wild, like me personally, I'm in a transition. I saw the world also transition on Friday. And first of all, on Friday, I took four grams of psilocybin mushrooms. I took four grams of magic mushrooms and I had the, probably one of the most impactful trips of my life. Um, if I could just go into that for a minute, um, I haven't done mushrooms in a long time, and ever since I've done them, the first time I did them was in 2017, I've always known that, like, these things are for, like, a moment, these things are for a specific purpose, like, I need to, like, respect this, I need to respect this type of a thing, and it's been a lot of experimenting um, of how to use it, when to use it, how to talk to people when I'm on it, um... It's been a lot of navigating, and I've been alone for those experiences, for many of those experiences. Um, I remember in 2020, I did a good amount of mushrooms, and uh, that that's when my girlfriend Shannon, she would stick around, and we would hang out, and that was the first time I really, like, hung out with someone from, like, beginning, middle, and end for, for like, the entire, for the entire experience, so that was different, and I haven't done them in a while. I, I don't think I've done them since... 
October of 2020. I think there was a moment when I was like, all right, you know what? I'm just like, I'm done. <laughs> like, I don't think I should do this right now. I, I, I got to like work through something. And for the last year and a half or so, I've been, I've been doing that. But I've been just like doing my thing, just like keeping an eye on everything that I've like experienced, right? It's it, all the lessons I've gotten from the mushrooms. It's always been like introspective, like love yourself and trust your gut. Like just love your family. Look, look at, look at the people around you. Um, it's always been like, like showing me who I can trust, showing me who I can love. Um, and, and that's sort of a process. And this past Friday, the world changed again. I decided to take four grams and I asked Shannon if I could, uh, have the apartment to myself. Um, and she said yes, and she was grateful for that. She was like, like, like I was grateful for her for that because sometimes I just need to be alone, you know? Like, do you ever just need to be alone? Um, that's how I work through things. I prefer to do the podcast when I'm home alone because I, I, I it's not about her. It's more about just, like, the environment. Like, I don't want to do the podcast in a crowded area. I don't, like, I want to be in my own zone, my personal. It's like the scene in Footloose when he's, like, when he's pissed off and he's drinking and smoking and dancing. Whoa. And dancing by himself, <laughs> I did like a little move. I just broke some glass. We'll, we'll clean that up later. Um, I need to be. I need to be in my <laughs> in my footloose scene when I'm when I'm doing this thing, you know. So I'm on. I'm on the experience. I took these at like 9 a.m. Right. I just I I grounded them up. I measured it out twice. I measured twice. I, I like. I'm super. Like I want to be specific. I had 4.1 grams. To be totally honest, 4.1. Sometimes the point one might change things, okay? They kick in in like 30 minutes, and I'm totally used to it. And I, the first thing that I sort of like thought of was like, wow, I'm just really confident in how I'm going about this. Like I have certain issues that I want to work through. I have cer certain mental stuff th that I want to like work on. I have certain intentions that I have. But I was also just like, I was grateful for, like I feel like I have, a level of wisdom when it comes to using this type of a medicine, this type of, this type of a tool, you know, it's nothing formal, but like, it's really just like, it's all internal. Like I was grateful that I was confident that I wanted to navigate a different thing when I was like under the influence of this. So I don't know, like, I feel like, I feel like I'm more mature than I was in 2017. You know, of course, like you're always growing up, but I, I was just able to observe that. And I was grateful for that. Um, and the other thing that was different was I had a blindfold on. Usually, so in the clinical trials, when it comes to, to the to all the to, to all the Western research of psychedelics, these things are always th the patients on them are always in a clinical setting, and they and they have a blindfold on. And it's recommended that you have a blindfold on because. Um, like the, the visuals that you see are different than the visuals with your eyes open. Um, with your eyes open, you will like it, it, you're going to see similar shapes. There's always like a kaleidoscope, like 3D kaleidoscope shapes everywhere. You know, if my eyes were open, I would see like I'm seeing like the poster, like different parts of my of like mo of my movie posters, like shrink and expand and morph. And there would also be like a. So some sort of a layer of kaleidoscope shapes shaping it. And I would see like the kaleidoscope shapes of the thing. Like I would see the sacred geometry of the object that I'm looking at, you know, like it brings a different dimension with your eyes closed. And I just recently figured this out and I, I recently experienced this, you know, it is, it is your subconscious like projecting, like it is your mental movie, man. Like it is a real for real, like brain, like cinematic brain experience, dude. Like it was really wild. There was moments where like I thought of people in my life. I thought of people in my family and I thought of, there was a moment where I was thinking about Star Wars. I was thinking about, uh, there was a moment where I was thinking about Darth Maul and, uh, it, 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 it was like a scary image, like like it, it, that face, that Darth Maul image uh, has always been like fearful, right? He's always like, he was like, he looks like the fucking devil. Like he's terrifying. Um, and uh, his face just sort of came into my vision w w w with my eyes closed and the kaleidoscope shapes like over, like every, every little square, every little rhombus, like every little shape that I saw 
had a reflection of his face. And it was like the whole thing that I was looking at was this like Darth Maul 3D kaleidoscope space. And I was like giggling at it. I was like, this is supposed to be scary, but it's not. <laughs> and so like I was, I was able to look at something that might have been fearful. I was able to look at a fearful face. Um, at, 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 a, 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 a better way to say it is I was looking at a symbol of fear. And, and I had the experience of laughing at it. And I came out the other end just calmer. I came out the other end happier. Um, I was happy that I did it. And the intentions that I had, you know, I, I worked through them. You know, it's never how you think it's going to work. You know, it's when you do these sorts of things, you can have an intention. And whatever you want it to bring you, it'll bring you. Like, if you want a party on mushrooms, it'll give you a party. If you want to be introspective, you know, it'll allow you to be introspective. But at the same time, you also need to be open to what um, the experience is bringing you. Because physically, what's happening to your brain, your neurons, your neurons are creating new pathways to different neurons. So there's, there's a, a more broader connection happening. There's a more broader network connecting right and um i just felt good about it man i just felt good you know i'm not trying to encourage that i think it's like illegal to encourage mushrooms but you know my hope for a more beautiful world that i know is possible and just what i want to communicate on this sasslinger is you have more control over your life and over your mental health and over your emotional health and there are real ways that Like Earth, planet Earth gives us real ways to to work through them. It doesn't have to be in some man-made system, you know. They can help, but my real opinion is that it's these mushrooms are important and I'm just praying for more more access, more openness, and more um just more understanding, just more education on it because it can help everyone. I believe that. Of course, there's nuances to all these things, but this is just my experience. And I feel good about it, man. I will absolutely continue to do more mushrooms. I've always been encouraged by the visuals I had on mushrooms. My <laughs> my freaking short film is called Magic Mushroom Fun Time. Like, I'm trying to animate these crazy shapes. So, <laughs> um, it's just what I do, man. It, it's how I think I should go about this. It's how I think I should be a creative I want to create a space where I can, like, I, I, I can have my own sober ideas and I can also go into this different realm. I can take a drug and I can be inspired by this different space. And I think that's really cool. I think it's, like, really unique. And and that can help me in my emotions. Like, that seems like the best of both, both worlds. Working through something and also finding a path to express it. Like, that's... That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful thing, man. That's what every person should seek. Like we got to do that. So I, I want to be a good example of that. A good, a, a good example of expressing myself and like being a good human slash just like keeping up on myself, making sure I'm healthy enough, you know, which didn't really work yesterday because yesterday I went to the beach. Uh, Shannon and I saw beach. We went beach and Barbie. Our jobs were beach and Barbie yesterday and I got sunburned as shit, dude. Oh, hang on. That wasn't loud enough. Yeah. Anyway, I got sunburned, folks. Um, Dude, my legs are in pain. My legs are red as a lobster, dude. And I can't. <laughs> Why didn't I wear sunblock? I didn't wear sunblock. I was like, no, babe. I don't want sunblock. Don't tell me about it. I don't. Chemicals, babe. Chemicals. And then she was like, okay. And then she puts sunblock on and she's fine. She And then she, and then sure enough, Shannon doesn't reapply and then she gets sunburned. So we both get sunburned really badly, but I'm the one who just like accepted it. Like I, I'm the one who's just like, fuck it, dude. Like I, I'm getting burned, like fucking burn me, burn me, bitch. Like I'm here. I ain't scared. <laughs> I ain't scared of little red skin, dog. But I should probably wear sunblock, right? I should most likely, <laughs> I should most likely wear sunblock. Um, with the sat slinger, so we're, t- um, so th- th- those, those mushrooms, they're influencing my stuff, right? They're influencing my thinking. Um, we're talking business and Bitcoin. Um, when it comes to the sat slinger, so has the, 
has, what are the numbers on the Sat Slinger? What's the data with with the downloads? And have I seen success? What is success? How do I define success? And right at the bat, so financially, um, I can confidently say that I can. I don't think this type of a model led to higher earnings or higher uh, downloads compared to the amount of dollars and sats that I spent. Um, so meaning, so this isn't including today. I, um, I can include the today's dollars, but I don't know the amount of Satoshis. So today, so by today's dollars, totally, including, including the sat selling you're, you're, you're listening to right now, um, the dollars I've spent have been $2,100 in the last year. I have spent two thousand twenty one hundred bucks um, on promoting the show, and that equals roughly. Um, I don't know how many cents I'll be able to get this month, but um, so far it's seven million three hundred and ninety five thousand six hundred and sixty six. <laughs> Yikes, dude. Can we change that number? I think I usually get around like 139K Satoshis the last few months. So so add like another 103K to that. So around like what? Like like 400,000, 500,000, whatever it is. <clears throat> 400 and a half, whatever. 7 million sats. That's how many sats I've given away. But I haven't, I've only, I, I'm averaging like 2,500 uh, downloads a month. So... I don't know, man, like sort of, not really. I'm happy that the community is growing. Like I'm happy that the value for value is like changing and shifting. But this type of a model, I I didn't know how this was going to go. Um, I just had this instinct to just lean into this. It, I, I first got obsessed with value for value. And I was like, wow, I can, like the show can give you money. Like for some reason, I just fixated on that. And I wanted to be... I wanted to be known for that for a moment. So, like, that's where, like, Sat Slinger comes in, dude. Like, I am the Sat Slinger. Like, I will forever be the Sat Slinger, dude. Like, this is a moment in history, first of all. Um, I'm one of the few podcasters really going into value for value hard. And I want to continue to develop the value for value. And I want to continue to expand community. And I want to um, use more resources um, that can help me store my data, that can help me express myself in the more decentralized way, you know, that's what I want. I want to express myself in a healthy way and healthy might per, per, most likely means decentralized. Um, I'm slowly growing that, you know, and I'm, I, and I'm looking at my opportunities and I'm looking at my investments and I can confidently say that I will not, I probably won't be spending any more money on promoting the show on Fountain, not because of a Fountain thing, but because of I just don't want to give any more Satoshis to any more people. <laughs> I like I, I want my sats to be my sats. I like I probably would have been better off buying the same amount of Satoshis myself and just keeping them in in some wallet. You know, I haven't even made that much. Uh, I, like I think I've barely made a million Satoshis. In the entirety, like, let me just check right now. What's the, uh, let me go to my all time, all time sats I've ever made for, for the show was 817,000, 817,000. Like that is total, total, total. Um, so not worth it. I've, I, I'm in the, I'm in the red year one of America plus, but it's okay because we're learning and we're, we're evaluating where the value is. You know, we're experimenting, we're running with scissors. Um, and I'm totally chill with that. Like, I'm okay with taking a loss if it means that I'm learning from it, you know? And what I'm learning from this is it's better off to just buy my own Bitcoin and it's better to spend my money somewhere else um, if it means that I can grow myself. Like, um, that's why I keep talking about Twitter, dude. Like, Twitter or X. Oh, that's the other thing. I took mushrooms and the, the same day I took mushrooms, Twitter turns into X. Like, that's crazy. Like, I saw the app change. So, like, I I know that people don't like Twitter. Like, a lot of people are not vibing with Twitter. And I know I just said I support decentralization. But at the same time, I've been on Twitter since high school, since I was a freshman in high school. And I'm just on it a lot, dude. Like, it's just, it's, it's my main spot to get info and, I guess, entertainment, dude. Just mo ma mainly in information in an entertainment way, you know? <laughs> um... 
And I can't stop thinking about bu- bu- buying Twitter Blue. Like, I can't stop thinking about that. And I really think that might be a better investment. Paying $84 for a year, um, so, uh, that, that, that gives me access to build up a certain account might be a better thing, might be a better investment than spending $2,000 that involves just giving people money. So that's what I'm like, that's where my brain is at, you know, like, um, boosting around, um, just like talking to people, uh, talking to different, um, uh, podcasters, um, like I'm supporting like different podcasts, you know, I'm trying to go to one particular podcast that I follow. Do, 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 do. I, I, I was, I think it was mere mortals. I was actually talking, I was, um, uh, I was talking to Kyron and, Dude, I can't find the show. I don't know where it was. I don't know what happened. Um, anyway, I, I won't bother you with trying to find it. But the main thing is, Kyron was telling me that I shouldn't worry about about Twitter. Or like I shouldn't worry about advertising. Or like I shouldn't really... Um, I just didn't, oh, it was on the Value for Value show. That's what it was. It was on Kyron's Value for Value show. L- let me go there, and now I know where to go. Now I know where to go. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys, uh, but we're going to be good. Um, okay, this is what it was. So this is what I told Kyron. Ky- Ky- because Kyron was talking about a- advertising. Um, I said, I understand the risk with advertising models, but I am leaning towards using and experimenting with them rather than demonize. Twitter seems like an opportunity that's different from YouTuber or Instagram influencer. Maybe I'm moving in the in the bad light. Someone help me. And then uh, Kyron goes, uh, best to err on the side of experimentation, Cole. It's not like you're signing contracts or anything with these places. I'd be interested to know your reflections on being the sat slinger for a year and how you think that went. So thank Kyron for this type of a content, folks, uh, because – it's this type of a conversation that I am interested in. And one thing to say to, to what Kyron said is like, low key, I am signing a contract if I'm paying Twitter. If I'm paying for Twitter Blue, then I am signing Twitter's contract and I gotta, I need to be aware of what I'm posting. I need to have a specific or I need to have some sort of a identified lane that I stay in. You know, I'm not sure like how. I'm not sure how it's going to go. If I pay for Twitter Blue, if I lean into that investment and I think of it as an investment, will I be able to gain enough of an audience to get to get paid in, in the next like six months? You know, because ideally that's what happens. Ideally, I start making money in a few months from posting on Twitter, which would be insane, right? It would be nuts. But the reason I'm even thinking about that is because I don't know another way to promote my podcast with Bitcoin. All I know is to just try to talk about better information, and I see an opportunity where I can post said information. I can post about value for value. I can post about movies. I can post about my process. I can post about what's inspiring me. I can post clips of the show, and that could potentially – expand the audience and there's actually an intention from the company like they literally say like the ceos literally say they they want twitter or x x they want x to be the number one spot for creators to make a living online that's like elon has said that multiple times the ceo has said that multiple times what does that mean it if that's their their sort of like mission statement like, if that's, like, what the, what they want to be known for, like, that's a big deal. They want to be known to be the number one spot for people to make a living on their website. So that's different from everyone else. That's different from Reddit. You know, this isn't just karma. You know, there's a real opportunity to to grow and build my brand, to grow and build my name um, – for essentially like 10x, 20x less than what I spent on Bitcoin this year given to you folks, which I'm not complaining about. I like I, I love the fact that I was able to to give this money, but looking at the numbers now, I'm just being like healthily critical to myself. Like there was a better way to do, go about this. So <sighs> that's what it's leading to. So I'm most likely going to be – I'm switching from the last sass slinger to Twitter. 
<laughs> but I'm also building Noster. I, I'm also listening to, to the people um, uh, who, who boosted in the last uh, few days. Uh, on Onomatopoeia, Joel W. Um, telling me to get into Noster. I think it's a fair trade to like to say like if I'm choosing to go into Twitter, I should also choose to go into the decentralized thing. I should really do my best to balance these two things. So. You'll see both of those up soon. You'll most likely see me posting on Twitter more, posting on on Nostra more. We'll see what what um, clients get like super popular. We'll see what's available because it all goes into how I want to post my content. It all goes into how I want to share my art, share my movies, share my shows. You know, I'm I would love it if I could one day get to a place where I have my have my movies in a theater. But right now, I feel it's wise to think about how I'm gonna distribute it, distribute my, my my movies digitally, and I have an opportunity to like own that process. I have an opportunity to be a good example of that process, and it it, it involves podcasting, it involves Bitcoin, it involves all these things. But and I I don't have the pieces put together yet. Um, but I know what direction I can go in and I know I can, I can use Twitter. I can use Bitcoin Twitter to help me build that, I, to help me refine that idea. I can use developer Twitter to help me figure out like what would be the best, like, um, best way to go about it. Like who's a good person to talk to. Like it's important to have decentralized servers and social medias and, and decentralized digital identities, like something that, that I can have full control over, but there's a real opportunity with this, like this open, uh, I, I, not open, but this, um, this more global, this global town hall that they talk about. Like, I don't know, man, like someone talk me off the edge. Someone talk me off the ledge, dude. Is it going to be a ripoff if I pay for Twitter? Because like, I just can't stop thinking about the good things. I just can't. Um, that, so that was one thing. Uh, the last thing was, uh, so Friday, so th- this all happened Friday. All of this happened on Friday afternoon, uh, July 28th. It was a new world order. The last thing, which is all in, honestly quite possibly the most important thing, Adam Curry started, he posted the first ever value for value music podcast, folks. Like we are in a new realm of podcasting. We can finally combine the arts. We can finally combine the transactions of absorbing a person's expression. Adam Curry has a one hour show called boost the grand ball and he, he records it live, but he posts it um, like a few days later, I think. And folks, it's just a little DJ show. It's a little radio show and it's debuting value for value in a totally new light. This is going to change the game of how people create. This is insane, dude. So I got a little clip uh, of him. Let me just go to my iTunes. I got a clip of him talking about uh, value for value music. What's the situation? Um, g- g- I'll have the show link down below. If you haven't already listened to it, you got to listen to it. It's just a one hour music show. And he just like chimes in after every song. He gives a little information on, on how you can help out, how you can contribute. The whole thing's value for value. And like it, it's – this is – revolutionizing the music genre like imagine how many types of new music podcasting apps can come out imagine how many new artists can be can be discovered through this type of a system because now it just requires the person to to have an rss feed and then they can start posting music and making money from it from one little tool from one little protocol you can start having you can start creating a career around around your art, like that is incredible. So, the, listen to Adam Curry. This is a this is a, a, about, about a two minute clip, just him talking about the show, how you can help out. Just dude, value for value, baby. So that song, you can just rewind and uh, and start playing from the beginning wherever you want and boost it from there. That's the beauty of it. It works any anywhere within the show. And when you're boosting or when you're streaming sats during the song, the wallet is automatically switched and goes over to the artist. And they, in fact, can split their payments any way they want. This is the, I think this is kind of the big revolution of what Value for Value does when it comes to uh, Value for Value streaming payments and boostergrams. Um, 
everybody participates in the value flow. So it's not like, you know, with, uh, with an advertisement or something that, uh, you know, the, the podcaster gets paid and uh, the app developer who has the app out there, the infrastructure, everyone just, you know, you can charge something for your app. You can charge something for your hosting company, you know, for the hosting of the file. But really when, when people value this, you'll see that people value it at a much higher rate than what you might get. Well, for instance, Spotify. I mean, Spotify, you can have 100,000 streams. You may get, you know, $10 at the end of the day, depending on what kind of deal you have. It's it's really not a, it's not a great product over there. So um, you can also, as a podcaster, you can decide to, if you have, you know, if you're two hosts, you can split it 50-50. You can um, give another piece to someone who promotes the show or does some, uh, some production work for you. The same when you're listening to a song. When the song is playing... Uh, right now, it probably mainly goes to one wallet, but the artist can set it up. If, uh, certainly, if you do it through um, musicsideproject.com, um, I'm not sure if Dystopia does that yet, but you could always use podcasterwallet.com at podcastindex.org, or even use uh, Fountain uh, or Conchax with an X dot app. Um, you can split that. So you could split it between writer, composer, and every band member who play, everyone who played on the, on the track. And it's transparent. You can take a look at it. You can see who's getting what. So you don't have to have contracts anymore. You can just go take a look. Oh, I'm still getting my 5% or my 10% or whatever it is. Everything's good. And you can see it coming into your own wallet. It goes directly from the person listening, using a podcast app. Dude, you know, I got to get in on this. Like, (laughs) dude, that's incredible. That's incredible. Um, Adam Curry is changing the game, and uh, I, I've been listening to some music on these on these uh, on these value for value apps on these value for value websites. Wave Lake is one of them. Is like the main one I've been using, and it's incredible, man. And I got to figure out a way to start playing this music. I need to find a way to start playing music and getting the artists involved. I need to get more artists involved with this show. So. I'll, f- I'll figure out a way if I can have from the audience. Can you just like, can you like, uh, like request, sh- uh, request music? Um, I can, I can play this music. We can have like a little music vibe. We can have a little music section of the show. Like that's how the show can like the show structure can change. It can be different. It can be a good hangout. Like I think adding music would be so divine, man. And now I can actually put that artist in the value block. I can literally allow, like, your boost will affect the music artist. It will go to that person. Like, I would so give the music, like, 10%. I would so give them that. 10% of the boost or, to, or 20% of the boost, whatever it is. Like, that, 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 like, this is a fair system. This is a good system to be a part of. So, if you want to be a part of that, man, like, go to Wave Lake. Figure out how, uh, how you can be a part of it. Um, you're pretty much just making your music into a podcast but it's not you know it's not a podcast like it's just that that's a reference to the technology oh man like it's still a little confusing but i'm telling you man value for value music is a huge 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 freaking deal um i'm gonna be promoting it more i'm talking about it more online i want to just post about it more and like people can get can really get involved with that stuff man and that's how i want to like pick the music for my movie for my newest uh, animated short film, I want the music uh, to lead it. So, you know, I'm trying to get more artists on the show. Like, absolutely, I want to interview more, more, more musicians. I want to talk about their vibe. I want to see. I want to get just their perspective, man. Like, I want to be one of the first podcasters to talk to the artists about Bitcoin and about value for value. I don't see that happening anywhere else. I don't know where that's going down. So, I want I want America Plus to be that where the artists come and talk about the innovation that they're doing. Like, that sounds so hyped. That sounds so hyped, dude. And then along with that, I'm using their, I want to use their music in my movies. So that's where I'm at in the creative process for Magic Mushroom Fun Time. I'm still getting familiar with what type of uh, AI will be best to help me make the images. And what's the, the good thing about that is that that's always developing. That's always evolving. It's getting better and better every week. Um, so there's going to be some nice... Uh, uh, updates coming soon it's coming out christmas 2023 christmas day 2023 and i think i got a lot of time on my hands and i'm excited for it man like using the value for value music is going to be a way for me to first of all 
just talk about the music on the podcast, get them in that value loop. And then when it comes time to post a movie, I will also have value for value avenues for that. Like you will absolutely, absolutely be able to boost the movie. I, that is, it's already baked in. Like, like it's happening, dude. It's not, it's, it's no question. And I, I want them to be a part of that split, dude. Like they gotta be a part of that split. Um, and I want that to be my innovation. Like I, I want to figure out how, how I can do movie value for value, you know, movie, like value for value TV shows, value for value movies, or just something like that, you know, just something similar like that. Some sort of a system, man. And th- th- that's my kooky idea, you know, that's my crazy idea. Um, continuing with Bitcoin and business. Bitcoin and business, man. Bitcoin and business. I got to get out of debt. Is anyone else in debt? Are you in debt? I'm in debt. Like, I, th- I feel like we're all in debt. I keep seeing these things saying um, Americans haven't paid off their credit card bills in the last, like, eight months or something like that. Like, it's been some, like, like there's, like, a record number of people who are not paying off their debt because they just don't have the money. And so they just stopped paying. And so they're just allowing the interest to, to build up. And uh, it's definitely not adding any value to the economy. It's definitely not adding any any healthiness. Um, but um, where the mushrooms led me uh, to my own personal like financial well-being, not only am I thinking about how am I investing, uh, promoting the show, and how am I investing in, in building my community, um, but I'm also... I'm also critical about, about my personal finances and like I'm in a lot of debt. I have a bunch of credit card debt. And the reason why I'm sharing this is um, as we're moving through this transition, as I'm transitioning into a new vibe of the show, a new situation with value for value, as the value flow is shifting, I'm also making a conscious push to to figure out ways to pay off my debt. And I want value for value to be a part of that as well. I'm not asking you to pay off my debt. I, what I'm saying is, I will continue to put out things and I will continue to put effort and put what I think is value, put put value into Twitter, put value into the avenues where I know I can make money, like put just put more effort in at work, you know, like that's all value. And hopefully, I don't know, man, a raise comes, maybe a big boost comes, maybe a PayPal comes, maybe I just, maybe I'm, maybe I'm able to, to flip something, you know, um, like something I have turns valuable somehow, like something, anything, dude, value for value. It's a, it's an international lifestyle. So like I'm open to everything, not just, not just the money. It's some opportunity, you know, the value for value. Like I'm seeking an opportunity with it. You know, I'm seeking an opportunity to pay off my debt. That's what it is. That's what I want value for value to give me an opportunity. So, and and that's a different vibe too. Because I don't think any other podcaster would be talking about their their credit card debt, um, but I want to be upfront about that because this is America Plus and this is where we talk about innovation. And if I want to be a Bitcoiner, if I think if I think Bitcoin is innovative, um, I'm I, I, I as an individual, I'm just holding myself back with that debt, and so I'm being a bit hypocritical when I lean into Bitcoin, but I have way more debt than I have Bitcoin. You know what I mean? It just goes back to my original numbers. I've spent way more money promoting the show than I have made money. So, and th- it's not an automatic bad thing, but it's not a good thing either. So, that's just where it's at, man. I have a lot more debt than what my life shows for. You know what I mean? So, I'm trying to make that move. I'm trying to make that transition. There's there's good stuff happening there, man. There's good stuff happening there. I don't have too much to say on that. Like, I just want to pay off my debt. I just want to openly say that. I just, like, that's important to me. It's super important to me. So maybe you can uh, help me out there. Maybe you can figure that out. Um, whatever, man. The last sat. Um, it's a value for value thing, folks. Uh, we are now heading on into the boost, ladies and gentlemen. Um, America Plus, value for value. Uh, if you like what's going on here, if you like the transparency, if you like the vibes here, if you like the... Uh, the silly words, then uh, throw me a boost. Give me some value. Head on over to valueforvalue.info for more info. Go to value4value.info for more info. Then download the fountain.fm app. 
It's the best way to support the show. Fountain is one of my favorite apps when it comes to like sending value to people. I really like it, so I think you should get it too. Um, I'm going to be reading some boosts from last week uh, from number 79. Or I'm, not, I'm sorry, from number 80, Hero Vibes. Number 80, Hero Vibes. Talked about the fourth turning book. Um, <clears throat> got a few things here. Uh, the first one. So all these people saw value in what I shared about the book last week, and you can share some too. Um, this first one comes from Automatopia. They send in 100 Satoshis. Thank you, Automatopia. They say, the fourth turning sounds interesting. I'll check it out. Creating Noster account is kind of like creating Bitcoin wallet. Your account will work with any client. You have a public address and a password. BTC Sessions on YouTube is a good tutorial on setting up your account and linking it to your Lightning wallet. On iOS, download Damus or Iris. On Android, download Amethyst or Snort. Okay. It's basically, you put Bitcoin with anything, and all of a sudden, that is more efficient. Automatopia, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going into it. I'm diving deep. The next one is from Kyron Down at Mere Mortals Podcast. What up, Kyron? He says, uh, he sends in 5,492 sats. Thank you, Kyron. Jesus, thank you. He says... Awesome episode, Cole. These books were on my maybe to read list. And whilst a review doesn't replace reading it, I got a lot of value from this. Have saved me some time and given me some knowledge I didn't have before. Keep on rocking. Yeah. And now, as the French say, it is time for Le Boost. Kyron, you're the man. Thank you so much, dude. You keep on rocking, dude. Keep on rocking in Australia. Uh, the next one comes from Joel W. He sends in two boosts. Uh, he, uh, both of them are for 3,333 sats. I don't know the name for that. It's just like a lucky lucky sat. It's 33333. Uh, he says, I've listened to a good breakdown of the fourth turning uh, before, but wasn't aware of the second book. Think I got to check it out now. Yeah, you do. Boosting is loving. And then the next one from uh, Joel, he says, Nostr is easy to get going. Like the other comment says, check the BTC sessions how to, and once you set up is easy. If a boomer ass Gen X or like me can figure it out, you'll be fine. <laughs> and should the opportunity arise, yes, we shall feast on the finest real beef money can buy. And some microdosing sounds lovely too. No doubt about that. Yes, sir. Boost. Let's celebrate that, dude. Let's go for it. Uh, do I have another one somewhere? Boostar. Boostar. That's my favorite one. That's my favorite one for sure. Joel, thank you to everyone who uh, gave me a boost there. That's phenomenal. I don't know where the sounds on the iPads are, dude. I, the, the, the pads on my soundboard, I always screw up. So I'm sorry if it, I always want to vibe and then I hit the wrong, whatever. <sighs> value for value. Head on over to Fountain, send me a boost, send me some Satoshis. Or if, if you want to uh, hang out with me, uh, <laughs> uh, then hang out with me, dude. Um, listen to all my episodes. If you want to give your time, talent, or your treasure, um, that's what value for value is. Um, this is a new system that creatives can get involved with and they can build their own name to it, dude. This is a real evolution of creating things online. This is a real system that you can get involved with and it's all through the power of Bitcoin, dude. It's all through the power of the Lightning Network and I'm just grateful for that, dude. I'm grateful for Bitcoin. I'm grateful for what it provides me, and I'm grateful for the opportunities that it that it will give me. You know, I don't want to put any like religious stuff on Bitcoin, but there's also just this like understanding of like Bitcoin's good, and if I lean into Bitcoin more, then like hopefully it will return to me. So we'll see how that goes, dude. I feel like I feel successful. I feel successful. I'm just confident about that, dude. Like, I'm I'm successful Barbie right now. I'm... <laughs> Seeing Barbie was so funny because there's, like, a Barbie for everything. In reality, I'm Ken. I'm really just Ken, dude. I'm I'm just Ken. <laughs> they made a whole joke about that. He's just Ken. Um, but Ken likes Bitcoin. And Ken wants to do better with Bitcoin. Um, and Ken wants you to help him with the value, with Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, tell me what you think about that, folks. Do you support value for value? Do you like anything that I just said? Um, are you into anything that I'm doing? Um, please follow me on Twitter. Please follow me on Noster. I'm setting those up this week. Um, 
I'll, I'll, I'll definitely tweet that out. I'll definitely, uh, I will get the word out when I have the Noster. Absolutely. Um, tell me what you think about my ideas. Like, please, like, j- just help me out here. That's what I want the community to do. I need the community to help me out navigating the right way to think about business and to think about utilizing Bitcoin. That's really what I'm putting out here. And I think it's possible to to grow on each other because, you know, we're so young. We're so early. We're so like, like this is brand new, dude. Like, we're going to fail. We're going we're gonna to have to, you know, just be okay with failing once in a while. And even though I've spent more money than I've made, I feel like I've learned a lot more. So maybe that's where the value is for, for myself. I've I've learned a lot more about myself. I've learned a lot more about podcasting. I've seen like much more doors have opened in terms of opportunities that I think are available to me for podcasting and and for continuing the show. So if you want to just see the the continuous development of that, if you want to be a part of the growth of that, you know, help me out. Send me some money. I I got the PayPal open. I need to be better about the PayPal. Um, but if you want to send me any dollars, there's a PayPal. If you want to send me Satoshis, send me Satoshis on Fountain, dude. Like, that's the best way. So that's the Sat Slinger, folks. This is this has been this is Cole McCormick with the last Sat, folks. Um, can you believe that? It's a beautiful time to be alive. That's America Plus, bitch. Stay free.